historic times call for historic measures, and that's really what this budget is all about. The government of Manitoba says helping people through hard times is the focus of this year's budget, spending more than $21.8 billion, an increase of $2 billion over last year's delivery. There's been historic <laughs> challenges uh, over the last few years, and that's why we're here today. Based on those historic challenges, we needed to start moving significantly in, in a positive direction for Manitobans. Premier Stephenson joined by Finance Minister Cliff Cullen citing COVID-19, flooding, inflationary pressures and the war in Ukraine as some of the reasons Manitobans need more support. You'll know that this budget represents historic investments across government, especially in our, our major sectors, and it also reflects historic tax savings for Manitobans. The government says the budget includes the largest personal income tax reduction in the province's history, with Manitoba increasing the amount of money people in the province can earn tax-free from roughly $10,000 to $15,000. We have heard from families and seniors about the cost shock they have experienced every time they go to the grocery store or the gas station. Due to inflation and the Liberal NDP carbon tax, too many Manitobans are struggling to make ends meet. To help those struggling, the province is also increasing the tax bracket threshold and say combined, the average family in the province will save close to $5,000 by 2024 and take more than 47,000 people off the tax rolls. Government increasing health care spending with what they say is the largest ever investment of $7.9 billion, an additional $688 million from the last health budget. Spending will focus on staff recruitment and retention and to address wait times and backlogs. To me this cuts to the issue of trust. Who can trust the PCs? After seven years of cuts, now in an election year, they're making these announcements, but which version of the PCs do you think you're going to get? Bob Canoe, leader of the opposition NDP, says Manitobans shouldn't be fooled by what he says is the PC government playing politics, claiming the PCs have let Manitobans down during their time in power and is now desperately trying to sell itself to voters. Manitobans need help with those monthly utility costs and other bills that just keep piling up. And so for the PCs to try and play politics on an issue like affordability, I think it just reinforces what I'm saying. Manitobans, we just can't trust the PCs anymore. In Winnipeg, Morgan Majeski, City News.